Hi everyone and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Request and Devotions. I hope everybody's doing good this morning. On our prayer request today, Nanette has stage 1 breast cancer. In three weeks they'll do a lumpectomy and radiation. It's not an aggressive cancer, so that's good. And I think it was Kim uh, gave this to me. If you have any updates, let me know. If not, we'll uh, remind me and we'll put this back on, you know, uh, four or five days before she has her uh, the lumpectomy. Uh, pray for Mary Ray's husband. He's in the hospital with ALS and not doing too well. Does anyone have an update on uh, Mary's husband? And Caden's got to go come home from the burn center. That's great. Pray for the people who have been affected in Ohio from the train derailment. Our daughter and her husband live one hour from the accident site. Uh, Lisa's been feeling sick. Uh, pray that she gets better. Uh, Amy's boyfriend's having an ultrasound on his liver to see if there's any damage to it on March 7th. Pray it's okay. Uh, Gary's hip is bothering him and he's had two doctor's appointments in the last few days. Pray that it gets better and the pain goes away. Wamalwa had an accident and has been had a wound on his leg for 10 years. Pray that he can get the medication he needs and fees needed for his son to go to school. Our daughter Jackie's cat Buttons isn't doing too well. Pray that he gets better. Uh, Jackie's very upset. Pray for those, all those affected by the earthquakes in Turkey and Syria. Kiki has had COVID for 16 days and still is testing positive. Pray that she will get better and that the COVID goes away. Uh, Mr. Bill is in a better rehab now. Pray that they can help him. And Marcy's children are doing better, but now she has the stomach flu they had. Pray that she gets better soon. All right. And our scripture of the day comes from Matthew 11, 28 through 30. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And starting a new book today. All right, and our devotion today is entitled, Finding Rest in Jesus. The restless soul is never satisfied with wealth and success. A deceased country music icon could testify to this truth. He had nearly 40 of his albums appear on Billboard's country music top 10 charts and just as many number one singles. But he also had multiple marriages and spent time in prison. Even with all his achievements, he once lamented, There is a restlessness in my soul that I've never conquered, not with motion, marriages, or meaning. It's still there to a degree, and it will be till the day I die. Sadly, he could have found rest in his soul before his life ended. Jesus invites all those, like this musician, who have become weary from toiling in sin and its consequences, to come to him personally. Come to me, he says. When we receive salvation in Jesus, he will take the burdens from us and give us rest. The only requirements are to believe in him and then to learn from him how to live the abundant life he provides. Taking on the yoke of Jesus' discipleship results in our finding rest for our souls. When we come to Jesus, he doesn't abbreviate our accountability to God. He gives us peace to our restless souls by providing us a new and less burdensome way to live in Him. He gives us true rest. In what ways do you feel weary and burdened right now? What's it like to experience the promised rest Jesus offers? 
Jesus, let my restless soul find peace and rest in you alone. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. In Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. I hope everybody has a great morning. I'd love to see you later on on morning coffee break. Let's have a cup together and talk a little bit. So everybody have a great morning and I hope to see you then. Bye-bye. God bless.